NBA 2K15 fans, what's up? It's Little Spaz 57. You know I'm trying to give you this information first. I just came back from Miami, so this is why it's coming out so late. I've been had it up, but I didn't even do anything with it. But I'll put it out. I know it's a little late. You probably know this. But I'm going to give you some, some more insight when it comes to PC gaming. What you looking at right here? Right here, nigga? <laughs> this right here, nigga, <laughs> is a shot of PC. This is a PC screenshot. Now, what that means is it's not a next-gen console. Now, as you know, PCs are far superior than the, the next-gen consoles. Next-gen meaning Xbox Ones and PlayStation 4s. Now, the advantages of getting PCs, the game for PC is that you could get mods where you could put the college players in, you know, and customize a lot more things than you could do on next-gen. PCs are amazing, so I recommend anybody out there Go spend yourself a little, you know, like for $600 to about $800, you can get yourself a decent PC that, that could keep up. You can need yourself a decent gra graphics card. Don't get yourself something with four cores. Try to get yourself a six core or better processor. So the processor, you want to look around like a 3.5 gigahertz to a 4.0 gigahertz. Um, processor and make sure you have a nice graphics card to get your gaming on probably a two gigabyte graphics card or higher you know and they you can find a lot of amds you know with that has the reasonable price range you can get a custom pc and you can spend about eight hundred dollars to get yourself something nice now moving right along let's get into this right here so this is next gen 2k15 and as you see, you can already tell the body movement of the players is a lot different. Not a lot per se, but you can see like right there, you can see the little skip action that he just did. Let me let me bring that back for you. You can see what I'm talking about. So what I'm pointing out is the animation, how he steps out, and kicks his leg out right there when he catches the ball. Now I haven't played the game personally, but I'm just noticing these things. So you figure I could just point out some things, you know, to you guys. So in this clip, you're gonna see like a a two-hand touch pass. Ginobili dribbles the ball up the court and passes it to what it looks like Boris Dia who kicks it out. You know, and you see how that that let me let me show you that again. Watch the two-hand touch pass. Look, the good ball movement at the Spurs as usual. You know, and right there you see Bellinelli with the shot. You saw the animation there. It looked like that was a new animation. I mean, there's this a couple of things that looks different. The body language definitely looks different. I'm not going to critique and be like, oh, it's crisp. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm looking from this point of view. Oh, nice little spin move. That was nice. But, like I said, we're looking at it this this through, like, third party, basically. Like, it's like we're looking at a screen that's recording the screen. You feel me? So, it's not like we can see it up close to personal. But we do see whoever's using the Spurs... If that's the, the computer or whoever it is, getting a butt whipped. <laughs> but that's what I have for now. Little Spaz 57, holla at me, man. Peace.